Hey, hey. Melanie. Hey, hey, hey. So, I'm a couple minutes early. So, as I wait for people to join in, I am just taking a red marker and I'm using the chisel nib and I'm coloring the edges of all the petals so that they're not bright white. Are you guys liking the release? Is it cool, cool, cool? Hey, Cheryl, how are you? I heard you took a spill. I hope that you heal quickly. So sorry. Does not sound like a fun way to spend the day. As you can imagine, this will take a hot minute, so it's something good to do. Love the release, don't tell the hubby. <laughs> I bought all the things. We'll have to start talking in code names, and that way um, it's not readily evident. <laughs> so I totally cheated today and I cut these out on my brother's scan and cut because I was cutting so many of them. So, um, yeah, full disclosure, I, I'm a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Hey, Milligan. What's up, chickadee? Are you coming to the retreat? I'm gonna miss you if you're not at the retreat. Like, come on now. I'll buy you a, a Heineken. <laughs> like that's going to make all the difference in the world. Ghosting me. <laughs> Who's ghosting me? Are you ghosting me? You're not ghosting me. So you can see I'm not doing this like super carefully or anything. I'm just making sure that the edges aren't all white. So are y'all ready for this? You ready to put together this flower? It's actually really fun. Somebody needs to tag Sandy. Sandy needs to be here because Sandy's never here when we're putting together the flowers and she's always the one that wants to know. Hey, Rachel. Queen, sweetie. <laughs> Do you remember, was it you, Rachel, that used to call me the coloring goddess? Cracks me up. That was back when your profile picture was like a water bottle. For the longest time, your profile picture was like a water bottle. Is it weird that I remember that? I mean, you were my peanut gallery, so. Oh, speaking of water bottles, completely random thought. Completely. Um... See, see the things I remember. Um, here's my completely random thought. Does anybody have the circle water bottles? You know what I'm talking about? The ones that you put like the flavor cartridges in? 
I want like real um, reviews, like real human being reviews, not paid spokespeople reviews. Your kids do? Do they love them? Are they worth it? The, the reason I'm asking is I'm thinking about getting them for Sandy and I and Joy when we go to the shows um, because it's really hard to stay hydrated at the shows um, because... I mean, you don't get to, like, get out of the booth. And so I was thinking that those, like, might be a cool way to go. Because you're constantly like, ooh, I'm craving something sweet. And all that's around is people have, like, candy. And I don't want no candy. So I want to hydrate. I want to have electrolytes. And I don't want to have calories from it. <laughs> My son and his girlfriend love them. Now they have them at Walmart. Cartridges at Walmart. And they love them so much. They have found a ton of flavors. My son is super picky. Okay, that's good to know. That's really good to know. Because I'm pretty picky too. And that's kind of what I was wondering. Is I was like, does it taste like watered down like Crystal Light? Or, you know, whatever. Because if it does, like, I'm definitely not in. I don't like that weird crystal light stuff. So, there you go. And how did you type that with one hand? I'm throwing you under the bus. Rachel totally burnt her hand yesterday. Doing something that any of us would do. Okay? Like, literally. So, word to the wise. Um when you pan sear your steaks and then you take the pan and you put the pan in the oven to finish cooking your steaks and then you set the pan out of the oven and you ew, um, you set the pan out of the oven on your stove top and hey April hey Tammy and you take the pan and you set it on your stove top um, and then you put your pot holder down and then you realize that your pan is sitting like directly under the heat source and you go to move it. That pan was just in like a 400 degree oven. So you still need your hot pot. Like you should not grab it with your bare hand on the metal handle. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> okay. Now that I've thrown Rachel under the bus. <laughs> um... If you do grab it with your bare hand, you end up in the emergency room with some pretty severe burns on your hands. Just throwing it out there. Okay, so <laughs> cooking lesson of the day. <laughs> um, I know, I love, this is the Lynn Lilly glue gun from Sheer Bonder. Okay, so before we get all into this, I wanna take a moment, this is my brag moment, so um, you know, just, Bear with me for a moment. This is the brand new, um, I almost said episode, <laughs> edition of the Creative Scrapbooker magazine. Um, so this is the Spring 2023 magazine. And if you open this up and you flip through it, you will see lots of cool cards. Um, you'll see some sweeties actually have cards in here that are, um, you know, just featured cards. But if you look, there's a featured article about the Books and Bears stamp set and how I colored it three different ways and all of the supplies that I used on the cards. So Sweet Sentiment is in this magazine, a full page um, article about sweet sentiment stamps and um, what you can do with your stamps and how to make them more versatile and all that stuff. Hey, bestie. 
So I just thought that I would share that with you guys. Um, if you look through, there's some cards and stuff that are featured like in the back and you might recognize some of the names given from some of our sweeties. Um, this one is from Lori Alexander and she is a sweetie. She should be here, sometimes she watches. But there's lots of really cool stuff in here. There's even um, a thing that shows you how to play with alcohol inks like Sandy and I often do and make our backgrounds and stuff. So um, anyways, grab your copy of that. And who's ready to start putting together this rose? Thank you, Cheryl. So this is the Resolute Rose. Um, it is a brand new stamp set that has released today. Today, today, and I am so excited. I love this flower. And I'm even more excited that I stalled enough that Sandy is on here. Hey, thanks, Joy. Um, because Sandy really wants to see how to put this together. So there you go. So I stalled enough to get Sandy on here. And I noticed there's like a little white spot here. Not that it really matters, but I'm just gonna color it in. Okay. So, hi, Bestie. I'm here. Hey, Linda Lou. I, I I'm I'm here to put together a rose for you. Are you ready? Okay. So I take a glue stick, and I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit so y'all can see what I'm doing. So these are the small ones, and you can cut three, four, five. These are the bigger ones. Again, three, four, five, two, depends on how full you want your flower. I probably won't use all of these, but I've cut them all out. Um, I tend to start with my darkest one first and put it towards the center, so the one that I got a little crazy with. And I just take a glue stick and I roll these up both ways. Okay. And I have the black lines on the outside, on the bottom, because when you form this flower, those are gonna be what's showing primarily. When you get to these ones, it's gonna be the opposite. Linda Lou, I'm so happy you're here. I sent you a message, um, a couple of um, direct messages. So check your Facebook messenger. You put an angry face on Sandy's video and I don't think you meant to put an angry face on there. So, um, anyways. Okay. So I like to start with my dark one. Now, the first thing you're going to do is this first one you're going to, okay. So you're going to fold this all the way in so that it's like a little circle. Am I back for you guys? Am I live? Okay. So then you're gonna take just a little tiny spot of glue. And you're gonna glue that. Just like that. Am I still live for everyone? Okay. There we go. Okay. So then you're going to take the one across from it and you're going to start to make your bud. Okay. So you're going to put a little bit of glue here and a little bit of glue here. Are you with me so far, Sandy? and then you wrap that around the first one. Just like that. Okay, so far so good, right? You do the same thing. What do you mean kind of? A Little bit of glue here little bit of glue here. Again, we just wrap this around the bud. Now see how I'm leaving a little bit of room? <laughs> I 
It's okay, Linda Lou. I just figured you didn't want to leave a mad face, so you wanted to go back and fix it. It's on the walrus video. Okay. Same thing. Howdy, Holly. Okay. So now we have this cute little bud. So you want to take your next one and you want to put glue directly in the middle of it. And then you want to offset this. So see how I'm putting it sideways? I would have never guessed. What do you mean you would have never guessed? On how to do this? And on this one, you just start following them around. Hi, Renee. Okay. Again, two little spots of glue on either side of the petal. Leaving room and just pinching it. Everybody with me? Oops, my glue came loose on this side. I pinched it too hard. So you can see already how it's starting to form that little bud. Just remember to leave room in between your petals. I love, love, love this flower. I hate roses. <laughs> To be honest, I absolutely am not a rose fan. But these paper roses are like so swoon worthy. So if you want to stop here, you can stop here and you have this really cute little bud. And it's, I mean, really cute, super simple to make. And then, you know, we can make this the bigger one. But... I just want you to see that there are different things you can do. So as, as we let that sit for a second, I wanna show you, if you are not a fan of roses, you can make these perfect little impatience as well. I mean, that makes the most perfect little impatient flower ever um, because they have, any, they have broad petals. So you can make other flowers with this if that's what you're interested in. But you can make a little bud or you can make more flowers or whatever. So since I used two for this bud, I'm gonna leave it and we're gonna go through this one more time so that you can see it. So the first one you wanna take and you wanna curl both sides completely in, okay? You wanna put glue on the underside of one of those and curl it completely in and glue it together, just like that. Sandy, I'm doing this a second time just for you. Okay, so what you have is this flower with this one curled completely in, okay? getting rid of all of my glue. <laughs> Thanks, Holly. <laughs> then you take the leaf across from it or the petal across from it. And you put that nice and pretty snug around it.
<laughs> Thank you. Okay, so now you have, remember those little whirly gigs? <laughs> you have that, okay? So then you take the opposite or any, either of the other two sides, put glue on those. Again, you're leaving a little bit of space here so that your bud can bloom out. Do the same for this one. Okay. Here we are with our cute little bud. Then you take this one, put a little bit of glue down in the middle, and you wanna offset this. So if I don't want it square, I want it in between those petals. So that you're not building this this way, you're building it around. So the center of this petal is in between. The center of this petal is in between. Then you just choose one of them to start with. So choosing this one. And again, just leaving a little bit of room. Everybody with me? You guys liking this? And then you just start going around the circle. I got a heart. Sandy, I know you're gonna love this flower. Once you get it, yep. Once you get to making it, you're gonna love it. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the bigger ones, right? Because we wanna, ooh, I just touched my finger with the tip of that. Okay, so now that we have this, we're gonna go into some of these bigger ones. So I'm gonna set that there. Same thing, I'm just gonna take my glue stick and I'm gonna roll these up. Um, some people like to use a bone folder. So let me dig out my bone folder so I can show you. If you use a bone folder, You just curl the edges of the petals. Okay. I like to use the glue stick because I think it's easier to just do this, but that's just me. You can tell I did not spend near as much time coloring the inside as I did the outside because I know you're not really gonna see that. Right, Sandy? <laughs> Glue guns are dangerous for you right now. Um, actually, Cheryl, this one is pretty easy. This one, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, this one's pretty simple. Okay, so just like you did when you put these two together, put glue in the middle of the bigger one, and you wanna offset this. Uh-oh, Archie's gonna bark because Amazon's here. So see how this <coughs> petal is in the middle of these ones? Don, how are you? Okay, so then I kind of try to find the petal I left off with, which is this one. So I'm gonna start 
again going around the edge. Archie. He's got to protect me from the Amazon guy, you know. Oh, the Amazon girl. So you just continue. It's the exact same thing. I'm just leaving a little bit more room between these ones. So it looks like it's blooming out. <laughs> right? <laughs> Where's Pam? <laughs> you can also color these with like, you can stamp these on um, like pre-printed like pattern paper or um, colored cardstock. Um, you can use oxide inks. Um, there's all kinds of ways that you can get around coloring these, but so you can make them. I know, right, Holly? It was all for you. Look at how cute this little flower is. Okay, so I'm going to grab my second one. little glue in the middle and again I'm gonna offset these so you can see that very quickly you can make this as large and as full as you want I mean you can stop right here if you want it's completely up to you Okay, but I know y'all want to see me get into making the other petals, so I'm going to put the other petals on. Sandy, will you tell Holly I said thank you? <laughs> Hi, Natalie, and goodbye, Natalie. <laughs> All right. So look at how pretty that is just just like that. Oops. It's so pretty just like that. If you happen to have missed any of the edges, you can go over them um, if you're going to leave your flower like this. You're not gonna see it if you continue on like I'm gonna do. Okay, so now um, what you wanna do, so I'm showing you this. So see how all of the black lines are this way? So now we're gonna take the petals and we're gonna put them this way. So we're gonna start with the smaller ones. Swoon! You can hear my concentration. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna start with the smaller ones. And again, I am gonna just use my glue stick and I'm gonna put it at an angle and I'm gonna fold both of these back, okay? Now, again, you can use a bone folder if you want like a more severe fold. It just depends on what you like. And depending on how many petals you make. I also kind of like to crease them like this too. Um, depending on how many petals you make is how full your flower is going to be. So if you like a super full flower, then make more petals. If you want more of like a Spanish rose, then make fewer petals. It's completely up to you. I like to go for broke, so that's why I 
<laughs> Give Kyle and Anna hugs. Um, I like to go for broke, so that's why I go like full Monty here and use a whole bunch of petals. And like I said, I totally cheated and used my scan and cut on this. So you can see like this petal is messed up, but that's okay. Cause in nature, not everything's perfect. Maybe a bug got to that one. Okay, so same thing for these. You're gonna fold the corners. Um, and again, I like to fold them in the middle, just gives them a little bit extra. Or if you like to use your glue stick, you can definitely do that. When I use the glue stick, I go like this first, and then I curl the edges down. Okay, and I'm just shaping these all at once because it really doesn't matter um, when you shape them. So you can sit on your couch, you can cut a whole bunch of these out, and while you watch TV, just have something to fiddle with. Hi, Michaela. I miss you. Um, have something to fiddle with while you're sitting on the couch watching movies or whatever. Or like Sandy and I while you're watching Murder, Death, Kill. Very pretty cards are made while you're watching Murder, Death, Kill. But I love just using a glue stick. It definitely, um, you know, it's something that you have around the house. You don't have to have any specific tools or anything like that. I mean, you can use a pen if you wanted or a pencil. It's just totally that simple. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna kinda bend them just a little bit and I'm gonna put them on the back here. So what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of glue here and I'm gonna start, hopefully I'm on the screen. So see how this is in between these two? So that's what I'm gonna start with. And then I'll put a second layer on. Yep, there is a bundle deal this weekend only. So if you are loving this flower, get it while the getting's good. Um, get it while there's a discount. I mean, I like to shop with discounts. Also on our site, if you spend $100, you get free shipping. So I'll show you the rest of the release at the end of this video as well. And um, you can check out the rest of the release and um, anybody who buys the full release is actually gonna be entered into a drawing. Okay, so see how I have those four, but they're really sparse, so now I'm gonna put in between. Hey, hey, hey. Right? Discounts are already good. Yep. Renee bought hers. Melanie bought hers. They're all on top of this. These are these are pro shoppers. They totally um, know to shop early to get the discounts. They also totally know to shop and spend enough money to get free shipping. All right. So again, you can stop right here if you like a small rose. Um, 
Yes, Holly. Yep. So you can stop right here, but of course, you know me again, going big. So with this bottom layer, with these bigger petals, I like to just go all the way around. And overlap them. I keep on getting glue on my fingers. I have enough glue here for this one too, so I'm just gonna go for it. And then I have one last petal, so here we go. Okay, you guys ready for the big reveal? Ta-da! Isn't that pretty? So you can shape your flower by pushing all of these up. So now you have the little bud and the big flower. You can even take these and just put them here. I mean, however you want, you can take these and make them into an impatient. I just love making 3D flowers. <sighs> Swoon! Look at it, it's so cute. There's just so many things you can do. I love them. I love them, I love them, I love them. So I don't know if you know, but we do have in our store um, sweet salmon. Let me grab one. Where did I put them? Here they are. And these are pearl stamen. And so we can put some in the middle of this. Would you guys like to see that? I know, right? <laughs> um, let me find my stash of stamen. really know where mine are but I found a couple so I'll just use these ones so you can see these are part of a kit that I did last year for the Stampin' Scrapbook Expo <laughs> oh my gosh Holly that is so funny Okay, so with the sweet stamen, what you need is a pokey tool. 
which is a very, very sharp object. And all you do is poke a hole in the middle without stabbing your fingers. Okay, then what I do is I take a piece of wire, which is why I pulled out this wire stamen, and I fold these in half so that I have a little loop. I take my wired stamen. This is good for Sandy too, because she doesn't normally use stamen. And I fold this all like this. Okay, give it a little twist. And then this really isn't large enough to do all of these stamen. So gotta make it a little bit bigger. And then I just poke these down in here. Okay. So now, oops, I guess I dropped one. So now you have this big crazy thing of stamen in the middle and you have this big pokey stick out here. So there's a couple of things you can do. You can either pull this stick out, like you can cut this right here and pull this out. But what I like to do is take it and twist it. I cannot hold on to it today. There we go. And if you twist this, it makes a cute little curly cue. And so you have this cute little curly cue in the middle of your flower with all these cute little stamen and it just adds extra texture for you. And so now you have this cute little flower and if you're so inclined, you can like take your Copic marker and you can color it, you know, like yellow or green or whatever. A lot of times I just leave them white because I think they're cute like that. Um, but there you go. So that makes a cute little impatient. This is a rose. Now, and that's the sweet stamen, the little pearl stamen. Now we pull out the big guns. Are you guys ready? Dun, 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 dun. So I grab a sponge. I cut a little piece off of my sponge. I grab my candy cup. Cause I'm a clean crafter. This is kind of a big rose, so I'll show you something else that you can do. Because y'all know me, and you know that I have coffee filters hanging out in my life. So you grab a coffee filter, and you grab your Barely Art glue. Okay, everybody ready? Take your Barely Art glue, and you squeeze it on your sponge. And I have the fine tip on here, so, you know, takes a little bit of extra squeezing. Then you squeeze it together so that you don't get any lumps. And you kiss the edges of the flower with it. Okay. And once you get it good and sticky, you take the glue, or I mean the glitter, and this is super fine glitter from Crazy Creations, and you just dump it. Which I have my heater on in here, so the fan is blowing, so that's super duper fun for me. <laughs> okay, Dawn, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it, have a good day.
And look at that pretty frosted flower. How cool is that? So pretty. Okay, so I mean, since we already have the glue on here, we may as well do the buds too, right? I'm just gonna dip this one. Oops. <laughs> Here I am, Cameron, being like, oh, the statements are in the shop, and they're not. <laughs> my bad. My bad. And, I mean, since we're doing it, we may as well go full Monty, right? Going to do all of them? May not have enough glue, but... Why not? Oh, it's so cute. I do need more glue on this one. Not gonna lie. There we go. And now we have a little impatient. We have a rose. We have a rose bud. Look at all of that. <laughs> that was good timing, huh, Cameron? So there you go, you guys. Lots of things that you can do with the brand new rose. And so um, hop on out to the shop and get it. While you're there, um, don't forget to register for the retreat. I know I said that I would show you guys the rest of the release again. So give me just a second to put the glitter away so that I don't make an epic mess. This is why I don't like the coffee filter method as much. It's not quite as clean as the um, candy cup. Because the candy cup has a pour spout, so you don't miss the side. Yes, the retreat. Marker Madness retreat. But I have my little sponge, and it has glue on it, so I just go like this. And I pick up all the glitter. And then I just take this, and I toss it. Makes life so much easier. Okay. So this is the rose that we just did. Let me zoom back out some. Turn my glue gun off. This is the rose that we just did. So it's called Resolute Rose and you can get it in a bundle with the dies. So there we go. Let me move this aside so you guys can see better. There we go. We then have the Fairy. Tammy, this is your order that I have sitting here, so I'm just going to use your order. <laughs> so we have the fairy, which is called Fairy Tale, and her um, dies. So this is part of the stamp and die. I know, Renee, I'm so, so bummed, too. So bummed. Um, so this is part of the stamp and die bundle. Then we have an arm and a leg. This is also part of the stamp and die bundle. So there's that. And then we have the super cute let's catch up. This is also part of the stamp and die bundle. And then we have the brand new stencil lovely mandala. Again, part of the stamp and die bundle. So this is what the stamp and die bundle is. If you buy the stamp and die bundle, you will be entered to win this super cool pouch that my mom made. 
Um, it's the little vegetables to go along with the little veggie dudes. So super cute. It fits all of your stamps. Um, so if you order this full bundle, you are entered to win this bag, which is so, so fun. I love that my mom made them super duper cute. We also have brand new stickers. These are vinyl stickers, so you can put them on your water bottles. Um, you can put them on your, you know, your notebooks, your planner, your computer, um, you know, whatever it is, your coffee cup, whatever it is you want to put this on. These are cute. There will be one of these with each release. Um, and these are only 99 cents. So I have my scan and cut totally covered with them, but you can put them on whatever it is that you want to put them on. And then um, I was going to show you really quick the little cards that I made. So I made one of the veggie dudes into this cute little card for my color decks. And I just love him. So adorable. And then my other cards I tossed down here. So here's the little tomato dude. He's on a wobble. And here's the... Um, why do I always forget what she is? I guess because I don't use that vegetable very often. I dropped a card on the floor. Um, fennel. There we go. She's fennel. Yes, the stencil is in the stamp and die bundle. Yes. Um, cute luggage. Oh, yeah, you could put it on your luggage. Um, then we have... This girl from the arm and a leg set. And then we have this huge new fairy, which I freaking love. Um, Tyler was integral in making this fairy because we have the oak fairy. And like I said, I'm not finished coloring her, but she's released in digital image today. And um, Tyler said, I want more fairies like the oak fairy. And so we created a, another fairy that is kind of more springtime feel. And you might see a few more of these girls come around. Um, but we have these really cool, very large size fairies. This stamp is a very large stamp. Um, let me find her. Of course, she's at the bottom. So Tammy, I'm opening your stamp. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> I know Tammy so um so if you look at the size of my hand and look at the size of this stamp it is a very large stamp and um is that pencil or marker um this is marker so this is a very large stamp which is really cool to kind of sink your teeth into when you're trying to color um I like coloring really big images so does Tyler um we like to really you know zone out and get into coloring a super large image so we released her as digital this is the oak fairy so you can go to the um online store www.sweetsentiment.us um yes if tyler has his way we will definitely see more fairies um and seriously i printed her this is a half a sheet of paper and i am having so much fun coloring her in this really large format so um, the cool thing about digital images is you can shrink her, you can make her bigger, you can flip her over so she's facing the other way. If you go like this, they're facing each other. Um, just so many cool things that you can do with digital images. So thank you guys for joining me today. I am gonna go and see if there's any more orders that I need to ship. If you have ordered um, before I started this live, your order has shipped. Unless, of course, you are one of the ones that bought the full release. And in that case, you're in the running for this um, bag. So I have not shipped your order yet. Um, you notice there was two bags this morning and there's only one now. Because um, one of them was already rewarded to the very first person who ordered the entire release. We're talking the flowers, all the stamps and dies, the planner sticker 
everything. She ordered everything. So she gets surprised with getting the first one of these bags. So the second one of these bags is going to be drawn for somebody who orders the release bundle. So, um, and we will have different conditions for these bags on different releases. It won't always be that you have to order the whole release bundle because I know that that's out of the financial question for some people. So um, just FYI. But there you go, you guys. There's the release. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow. Um, and Sandy's going to show you her new release cards. She took them with her on her road trip. So you will be able to see them. And um, I will be doing my live tomorrow as well at 3 o'clock. So you will be able to see my live. Um, I don't know what I'm coloring yet. i have probably color the fairy, you know, because that's a thing. And I'm sure Tyler wants to see me color the fairy. So, you know, that's a thing. Um, hopefully I'll finish coloring her and post her. And thank you guys for joining me. I really, really appreciate it. Um, wish I could make the retreat. Yes, yes. Both of you, for sure. Um, if you have any questions or need any information about the retreat, don't hesitate to reach out to me or Sandy or Cameron, and um, we can get the information to you. I know there's a couple people that are looking to share rooms, so that's always a thing. Um, grab your release, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Toodles.